Alright, Snowball, what it do, man? Y'all already know, man. It's your boy Two Eyes, otherwise known as Tokyo, man. I had a nice birthday, man. I'm be honest with y'all. Appreciate all the birthday love. Um, Battle Academy went over on the weekend. Uh, shout out to my man's Battle Rap Rankings. Y'all already know, man. He keep us posted and informing on the business. Um, Battle Academy, Snowball, did it live up to the hype? Okay, okay, okay. Well, they started off with uh, Bray Woods versus Heron. I ain't sure if you heard that battle or not. Um, okay, well, Bray, won, Bray Woods, shout out to him. He won the battle. Um, uh, it seemed almost like he freestyled his first. Um, he had some freestyles in the middle. I don't know if it's because Havron actually stumbled and choked in all three rounds. You know what I mean? He had a stumble in the first. The first will be the only debatable round because he stumbled in the first out the gate stumble. Um, that's the only round that said debatable, but he actually choked. Yeah, he definitely been out here battling, you know what I mean? Um He stumbled in his and choked in his second and also in the third. Uh for opening battle, I would say this was cool for opening battle. Like you said, you was getting you was at the stove, getting popping and all that. Unfortunately that's how that battle would have been uh turned out. His preparation was off for heroin, things of that nature. Um Shout out to Bree Woods. He came prepared. He won the battle. He needed to get another plate. Next battle was Jack Boy Main versus Dre Dennis. Man, yo, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I did not know a lot of these was one round battles. I knew. Well, I knew they couldn't. Well, I knew um, I was seeing the video. That they couldn't afford. I knew kind of like the video as far as affording Tay Rex and T Rock, Tay Rex and Tay Rock <laughs> for three rounds. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying. But for the rest of them, that's a fact. I think it. I, I would say, man, if they would have let me know. Cause I got on John John for paying. I got on John. I got on John John for me paying that thirty five dollars for them one rounders, and he made it up. They known, but if you are known for one rounders, I can respect that. Dre Dennis, Case of the Garden, things like that. I know if they give me a three rounders, and it's like whoa, you know what I mean? Like they, you know, announced the three rounders they had against. Um, I can't remember right now. I think it was Chef Trez and somebody. But it's like other than that, I need to, I need to know. He gave John John, John gave us a free uh, a free event, but uh, there it is. Um, Jack Boy Main versus Dre Dennis. I'm like I said, I'm not sure the time period, things like that. Um, Jack Boy Main, um, I had him cooking, he cooked for three minutes, 30 seconds. Um, good round, he had no chokes, no stumbles. Um, he had his material, he came with the flicky flicky and all the sound effects we be looking for. This just my it's just my opinion, you know what I mean? That's what I've been looking for. Um, uh, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, I seen John John. I mean, I seen Jack Boy say this. He said this is the last time his opponent will have 12 minutes of battle against him. You know what I mean? We're going to keep it all battle rap, y'all. But um, Dre Dennis, yeah, he definitely, Dre Dennis definitely had approximately 9, 10 minutes. Um, he had a mid-round rebuttal of the um, the twist flick and, and, and the, the twist pull and hop out, bop it, bop it. Uh, yes, uh, so you know, Ma. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, okay. Wait. Yeah, so yeah, Drake Dennis, like I said, to me, Drake Dennis, he like heated up. He's like his first three minutes compared to Jack Boy, um, it was pretty much a debatable. But due to the fact that Drake Dennis, to me, he went more, that's when he got into his rebuttals of the um the oop twist the flicky flicky um um you jump in this crowd you getting effed up that's how he ended it compared to how you jump in the nine crowd we in philly so you know dre dennis he heated up and like i said that's how i call that one man dre dennis definitely came to work you know what i mean so Gay Jack eight. I gave him a uh, I gave him a seven point eight. I gave Trey Dennis a eight point two. Right, that's why I gave him a point two. That's why I gave Trey Dennis a point two more and, and uh, of that. And it was uh, and for me, it's just me. It's just me. Both of them both of them was kinda like I said, cause Dre Dennis to me, he come with the um uh, the young cannon kind of material to me. Um, but this one here, he just had a little more references. He had some, some jacks in there. And then, like I said, the rebuttal, that middle section rebuttal and flips, that definitely got him the extra points and then hit it and then ended it with the jump into Philly, things like that, jump into this crowd. That's what my extra points came in at. Jay, Dre Dennis always been fire, but to me, but to me, Dre Dennis material always been the, how Young Candace is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They have, they references. They references to me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. You know what I mean? You uh, know what I mean? But Dre Dennis definitely came, man. He came to work, man. He come to work all the time, man. But shout out to both of them. Him and prep, loud ties. Mm. 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 See? So yeah, that was that was a nice one. Shout out to Battle Academy. Um next they had um prep. Versus profit, prep versus profit. <sighs> Me personally, this definitely did not go how I thought it would go. You know what I mean? I thought this would have been more of a debate. The reason why I thought it would be more, more debatable battle, I. I Once again, once again, I like Prophet, his preparation. He lost to me, he lost his battle because of preparation. You know what I mean? He had a, um, he pretty much, he's almost like he was telling me his life story. He stumbled, um, his delivery was off. And he also lost control of the crowd in this battle. Um, to what Steers, to my opinion, when he was like, man, come on and wrap it up. You know what I mean? Prep definitely came prepared. You know what I mean? He had the, uh, the uh, I think once Prep told him, you a correctional officer. And um, something in regards to uh, the sale of my cellular phone, because I work for a cell company, you're a correctional officer. Um, it's something about they don't look the same as one or something of that when it came to profit, when it came to him working. Yeah, it came to where prep was prep work for a cellular company, and you're a correctional officer. But okay, yeah, definitely. Me, me. Um, sometimes just for me, prep um, lack of preparation. That's why I thought this was a bit of a debatable battle. 
You know what I mean? I definitely have prep when it comes to um, coming with three rounds or coming up with one round or rebuttal and freestyle. I definitely know how he can come, but when it comes to his prep, his preparation, that's why I probably was my debate when it comes to this battle. Um, but he definitely won this battle. Um, next, we had unfortunately we had K Walker versus J Four Hundred. J Four Hundred didn't show up. Um, Shout out to K Walker though. He um, entertained a the crowd. They still won the day round or you know what I'm saying? Things like that. So he gave it to him, man. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate right for him. Um, this is not the first time that uh, his opponent have actually ducked him, man. I wanna say, man, this may be number three. That K Walker opponent has actually ducked him. You know what I mean? So shout out to him for still coming to coming. Having his round, being prepared, and he actually spoke. Shout out to the crowd and did his round for the crowd. Um, you know what I mean. Um, so that's how that went. Um, then we had um, E Ness versus Franchise Snubble. I ain't sure if you seen the face off that that they had on Champion. Um. When it came to the face off, E Ness, to me, he was definitely talking that vet talk to the franchise. Franchise definitely, um, he always he come with that. Um, when I come here to this United States territory, I take care of my business and things of that nature, and that's the reason why they keep flying me over and booking. They had a nice little face off. E Ness just had a couple of more, you know, new jabs in it. Um, when it came to the battle, um. E Ness, he had some nice bars. Um, when it came to his first round, he started it off. His energy is how it normally be, things like that. Um Franchise, he had a um he started off dope. Oh, um, he said I beat the beat the shit out of you or something like that to where you don't turn from E Ness to E Heart. Um You get the you get the feet after I kill the snake skin. Oh, you know, talking about like skate skin boo. So he I edged um franchise that first round. You know what I mean? Okay. He working on it he working on this era. Okay. Second round, um, Enes once again, he had a cool traditional Enes round to me. Uh, franchise came out, he had he started out with the Philly flow in his second round, you know what I mean? But he and he had current bars in his second. The second round is debatable to me. You can still edge franchise, some people still edge franchise, it's debatable to me. I edge franchise the second. You know, so you gave it to Ness, see? That's why it's the battle. That's you know what I'm saying. Third round. Yep, so the second one, you know what I mean? I had the edge. Third round, I had a tie. Third round, I had a tie. I felt like franchise, you know what I mean, was just short and chilling. Um, e Ness had what we thought he was going to have, so I had a third round of tie. Which means it could be 2-1 franchise or it could be 2-1 E-Ness or 3-0 franchise. All depends on how people look at it. But this was a dope battle. Neither neither battle got smoked in it, anything of that nature. Um, I don't think E-Ness is hard for E-Ness to get smoked, I believe. You know what I mean? As long as he come how he's supposed to come. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's different between T Rex. Um, but we gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Then we had um Av versus Bill Collector. Mm, mm, mm. Me personally me personally, um, uh, when it came to this battle, I thought this was gonna be almost like a clear two one. That's really what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a clear two one for us Av. Just because um, his consistency with the punches and things like that. I know Bill Collector's on orthodox and some things hit, miss, things of that nature. Um, what I can say about this battle that this is a nice, debatable 
battle. Debatable. First round, I had Alf edge in the first round. I really had Alf edge in the first round. Um, second round, I had Alf edge in the second round. You know what I mean? Third round, I had Bill Collector edging the third round. Now, when it comes to that second round, I can say far as my notes or whatnot that I have Alf by the slightest edge to where it can be debatable to where Bill Collector can take the second and third. Or I got Alf with the first and second in this battle. You know what I mean? But dope battle. You know what I mean? People want to make an argument for Bill collecting one of them rounds. The second one is the only one I can see an argument with. But once again, it's opinionated. How you feel, Snug? Kind of the same? Yeah. Exactly, exactly, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got it built with that third, you know what I mean? Or oh, whatnot. Uh, definitely a good battle, Battle Academy, man. And it was a three rounder. That was a three rounder, too. Okay, okay. Definitely. Next we had Chef Trez versus Snake Eyes. Um the last battle is is when the cars start heating up with the Alf and Bill Collector. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, Chef Trez versus Snake Eyes, man. To me, this was a cool battle. Um, it was dope because, um, Briz Rothstein was in the building. Chef Trez started off, he had a nice cool round. He talked about the mob. He had, um, other little bars and other parts, you know what I'm saying? Eye bars and etc. Uh, Snake Eyes. He had a um he had a pretty much cool consistent round two. I asked the first round to Chef Trez. Um but Snake Eyes had a bar when he was saying like man after the um summer impact everybody running and y'all got us out here looking for Briz. Fire. Fire. That was fire. Cause that was true. We're all up out here like, man, Briz, come back to battle rap. It's all good. Man, get that first battle, that person talk what they going to talk, and we're going to continue. You know what I mean? Unfortunately for him, when he said that Briz Ross thing was in the building, and I'm going to say it probably took maybe 15 seconds because the crowd kind of like get down, things like that. Then all of a sudden, I seen some videos, things like that. Briz was actually on the balcony. Him and his guys came on down and Briz propped up on the stage. I heard word Briz was already in New York for the surprise battles. But to see him on camera, pop up on stage, Battle Academy, they made a lot of things light up um, that night. So yeah, Briz came out. Um, this is the this is the battle. Um, to me, Snake Eyes almost had to heat up. Almost had to, had to eat up, you know what I mean, when it came to this battle. It's like he almost had to eat up. Chef Trez, he had his stuff together like he normally do. I had Chef Trez this battle. I had Chef Trez edging this battle. Um, yeah, the first round is the round that I can see myself being debatable. No, nah, yeah, yeah, I'm looking at the wrong notes. <laughs> that was my bad. Uh uh. My bad. I was looking at the wrong notes. Cause, right, yeah, because Briz said try that shit now. 
So yeah, Snake Eyes had to heat up. Snake Eyes had to eat up, heat up. Um, so yeah, I had an 8.7 to 8.3. Let's say I had that round. So, um, Chef Trez. Main event: Tay Rock versus T Rex. <sighs> the dot mob chain was on the line. It's out in the car. Um, I heard Tay Rock had a battle against um his rematch against Shock and Shug that I heard he um maybe stumbled or choked in things like that. A lot of people said that this battle here pretty probably was on his mind, so he was more prepared for this one. Um, me personally, bro, this was a good one round battle. This was a good one round battle. Now, when it comes to uh, T Rex, when it comes to, come to T Rex, you know what I'm saying? I had the same Rex, you know what I'm saying? But he was like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to talk, he was talking to Rock a little bit, telling his story. Um, um, it, it was the normal Rex, you know what I mean? And, and he was giving giving the energy that, that you know what I mean? Um, I could have. I wanted a little bit more material from Rex. I wanted him to get a little bit more deep into as far as the chain and maybe like, nigga, where that chain at? You know what I mean? Things of that nature. I didn't get that. Um, but Tay Rock, you know what I mean? To me, to me, Tay Rock was. Tay Rock started off slow, just slapping the man around, and then he went on to punch them. And once he punched this guy, he just kept punching him and punching him. You know what I mean? All the way to the end when he told this man, like, you know what? You lied to the people. Because the chain that you looking for and the man you talking about dead is standing right in front of you. You know what I mean? And I'm alive. So when it comes to that, you know what I mean? That's why I said T-Rex could have gave me a little bit more material when it came to that chain, things like that. It would have been, I could have had a more of a Real debatable. Other than that, man, yeah, I definitely uh, gave it to gave it to Tay Rock. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He took it. At the end, they shook hands at the hand. They hugged. All that good stuff. Um. Man, what you would rate the event? What you was missing? Let me just stop. What you was missing that you said it could have been? That's the love. Y'all give. Rex could have gave you, Rex could have gave you some more in-depth material as far as the situation, but still with his flow, would that would have worked?
okay it can it, it can happen okay 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 my man all right How was this um how was this rock versus the rock versus bad news? Okay. 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 Okay, okay. What else you feel about the battle? What else you feel about it? Snake eyes and trays, but you can go to you can go to Bill now. Mhm. 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 Then we dealing with the uh, Enes and franchise. I'm gonna give them a solid eight. I know they can't, um, they have no control of the battle rappers themselves, but I'm gonna give them a solid eight. And it is because of, um, we know about the eight rounds. No, a solid eight, a, a solid eight is good because, um, Tay Rocks and uh, T Rex was good, Treffs and Snake Eyes was good, Bill Collect and Ab was good, E, e Nets and Franchise was good. I'm gonna salute K Walker. For giving out his one round, cause most of them hold it, use it for somebody else, all that type of stuff. So he came, he still came and performed for for the audience. Um, Prep showed up. Um, Dre Dennis and Jack and Jack Boy showed up. You know what I mean? Um, Bray Bray Woods Heron. He once again about the, the company is not responsible for him not being prepared. So that's why I gave it an eight. They had the pay per view um, um, available on time um, when they came to what we was looking for, as far as the um, the fighting or anything that goes on, that was all taken care of. Uh, any little, any, you know what I mean? So I had to give them a solid eight, big bro. That's just me. You know what I'm saying, um, once again, y'all, this was a battle academy. Um, the VOD is available. Um, and yes, it is some good battles on here. Some good debatable battles on here. Um, it's worth to go get it and check it out. Y'all already know this. Your boy Two Wise. Subscribe, like, comment, snubbo. Mmm. Number, number nine probably be number one. But y'all already know. We're going to let y'all know. Peace.